Recently, with fewer investment restrictions and a strong commitment to green and environmentally friendly policies, the Philippines has successfully attracted both domestic and foreign investors, establishing itself as a leader in renewable energy investment within Southeast Asia. During the 2024 Clean Energy Forum, several globally renowned companies, including Norway's Skatec Solar Energy Company, expressed strong confidence in the Philippines' renewable energy potential. Tarja Pilskog, CEO of Skatec, highlighted the favorable regulatory environment in the Philippines, which offers ample opportunities for foreign investors. He expressed optimism regarding the rapid expansion of the Philippines' renewable energy sector in the coming years. Although the Philippines is still highly dependent on coal for power generation, with about 62% of electricity coming from coal power stations, ranking it seventh among the world's economies most dependent on coal power, the Philippine government has adopted a series of policy initiatives. These initiatives, such as allowing wholly foreign-owned renewable energy projects, have greatly promoted the development of wind and solar energy projects. Currently, the Philippines has secured agreements for wind and solar projects, totaling 99 gigawatts in capacity. This capacity not only exceeds the energy needs of all households in the country, but also surpasses the combined scale of renewable energy projects in other Southeast Asian nations like Vietnam and Indonesia. While only 3% of these signed projects are currently under construction, indicating room for improvement in implementation progress, both the Philippine government and business sector remain optimistic about future developments. To expedite the energy transition, the Philippine government is actively easing restrictions on large-scale power projects and has set ambitious targets for renewable energy expansion. By 2030, the country aims to double its new solar capacity additions, while tripling its current wind power capacity. Additionally, the Philippines plans to increase the share of renewable energy in its electricity mix from approximately one-fifth currently to over one-third by the end of the century. In pursuit of these goals, the government has implemented various incentive measures. These include the formulation of a strategy for offshore wind power development, offering tariff and tax incentives, and fully opening the renewable energy sector to foreign investment. These initiatives have not only attracted significant international investment, but have also spurred rapid growth in clean energy investment across the Philippines. AIR, a sustainable finance researcher at the Institute for Energy Economics and Financial Analysis, pointed out that the Philippines' clear government regulations and welcoming approach to foreign investment have significantly boosted companies' willingness to invest in the Philippine market. Moreover, the absence of a dominant state-owned enterprise fosters an environment conducive to innovation. Despite these advantages, the Philippines encounters several challenges as it accelerates its energy transition. These include the need to extend transmission lines for improved power distribution, expand grid capacity, strengthen energy storage capabilities, and streamline land approval procedures. AIR underscored the critical importance of effectively executing projects to ensure that signed contracts translate into tangible increases in production capacity. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingxiao View, The Business Bridge.